All right, algebra one, lesson 115. All right, this one is on literal, literal linear inequalities. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you how to do something, okay? They're telling us to graph this inequality. All right, here's what it says. Y is greater than negative X plus two. Now, do you remember me teaching you that when you're learning um, about a slope, um, it's y equals mx plus b, okay? Now, this is important because we already know our m and we already know our b, and that actually tells us how to graph this line, okay? So stay with me. I'm going to pretend like this says equals for just a minute, so I'm going to put up on top of it. It's actually great, but I'm going to put equals for now. Now, this negative x, um, because there's not a number there, I know that it's actually a 1. Okay, so negative 1 um, and that over 2. Now, if you remember, my m is my slope, which is my rise over my run. So, my, a negative 1 would be negative 1 over 1. That would be my rise over 1. Run. So, your b is where you place your dot on the y-axis. This is my y-axis. This is my x-axis. So on my y-axis, I'm going to place a dot on a positive 2 right here. Okay? On my y-axis, a positive 2. And then I'm going to do my rise and run. I'm supposed to go down 1, over 1. Down 1, over 1. Down 1, over 1. So down 1, over 1. Down one, over one, down one, over one, down one, over one, down one, over one. And as you can see, it makes this line right here. Okay, <laughs> not very pretty, but I tried my best. Okay, so now, now that I have it graphed, let's go back up here and put is greater than. So Y, which is what you're going to shade, the shaded part is greater than this line. Now, is it equal to this line? No, it's just greater than. So I make this line into a dotted line because if it was equal, I would fill it all the way in because it's equal to this. But it's not equal, it's just greater than. And greater than is up. So I'm going to fill in my chart like this, shaded. And I'm going to leave this dotted because Y, the shaded part, is greater than this line. Y, the shaded part, is greater than this line. Okay? Hopefully that makes sense and it's dotted. Now if it said greater than and equal to, well then it would be a solid line. But this would still remain. Okay? That's um, example 115.1. All right, let's do a few more. Let's do 115.2. All right? So here's what it says. Y is less than or equal to 2X minus 1, okay? Again, I'm going to pretend like this says equals, but it's really less than or equal to. But I'm just going to put that up the top for just a minute. And remember, Y equals MX plus B. So I'm going to make this a plus negative. All right? Remember, um, my M is a 2, so I'm going to get 2 over 1. And my B is a negative 1. So I go over here to my Y axis and I plot the negative 1. Negative 1. Got it? And now I'm going to go up 2 over 1. 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 Okay? And that's going to make that line right there. Now, here's what it says. Y is less than this. So the shaded part is less than this. Less than the part that goes down. Up, down. So this is Y is less than this. Is it equal to? Yes. So we leave it a solid line, not a dotted. So Y, the graphed part, the shaded part, is less than or equal to this line. Okay? 
All right, let's do 15.3. Now you can pause it and try this one on your own, and then um, unpause it and see if you get it right. Y is greater than negative 2. Okay, on this one, although you're probably going to not pause it, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that, but I didn't realize what next was going to show you, okay? This one does not give us a Y equals MX plus B. So in order to do this problem, what you're going to do is you're going to say, you're going to give yourself an XY chart. This is kind of the old-fashioned way. All right? And if Y, remember, we want to say Y equals negative 2. We'll change it to the greater than in a minute. But let's say Y equals negative 2. So every time, Y is going to be negative 2. So my X is going to be 0, 1, negative 1, 3. All right, so let's graph that. I'm going to keep y as negative 2 for right now. So here we go, 0, negative 2, 1, negative 2, negative 1, negative 2, 3, negative 2. Hopefully you notice that we've got this line right here. All right, now I'm going to go back up here, and the graphed part is greater than negative 2. Is it equal to? No, it's just greater than. So it's not equal so I'm going to put my little dotted line, and it is greater than the negative 2. Greater than. So the shaded part is greater than negative 2. Greater than. So that's what you would shade. All right? And last one. All right? And this one's an x equals something. All right? x is less than 3. Again, we want to say x equals 3 for just a minute. Okay, if x is 3, all right, then let's go y is a 0, a 1, and a 3. All right, so x is 1, 2, 3, y is nothing, x is 1, 2, 3, 1, and x is 3, 3. Hopefully you see we've got this line right here. Okay, now I'm going to erase this, and so it says the shaded part is less than 3. Didn't say equal, so we just make it a dotted line. And it's less than 3. Well, positive numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, going all the way, and negative numbers. So less than on this way would mean this way. So x is less than, the shaded part is less than 3. Less than 3. Okay? And that is lesson 115.